All right, guys, I am back to open up some packs with you today. I bought this box from a Chasing Cardboard Whatnot live stream, and uh, this is from Back to the Future Part 2 from Tops. I believe these came out in 1989 or 1990. I'll check the date. Um, I've opened up a few packs with the kids, but for the most part, I've got about 28 to 30 packs in here. So we'll open these up, have a little fun. And uh, if anybody knows me, you would know that I am a massive Back to the Future fan. So let's have some fun and let's go back in time. Here we go. Pack number one. I would hope that there's 88 cards in the set, but I haven't looked for sure. And here we go, spotted by Jennifer. Here's the Pitbull Brigade. There's Doc and Marty. Marty's, uh, his son has been arrested. And here's Retrieving the uh, Almanac. Back to the Future Part 2. This is part of the sticker. You collect 11 of these and they make the poster. Cafe 80s. This is nuts. Marty outside of the uh, casino. There's what I can only describe as what I think is the modern day Tesla. Here's until next time. They're uh, downtown in front of the clock tower. And everything's different in 19, uh, or sorry, in 2015. Hill Valley has changed. Biff is a tyrant mogul who uh, used the sports almanac to uh, make himself a fortune. Doc and Marty have to go back and try to correct it. So here we go, returning to town square. Onward to the future. Fun fact about this, if you didn't know uh, a lot of the behind the scenes stuff with Back to the Future. So the uh, original actor who played George McFly was recast in part two and three. And uh, they put him under heavy makeup and prosthetics, which they later uh, had to settle with Crispin Glover out of court for uh, I think close to a million dollars, three quarters of a million. Um, so his replacement, Jeffrey Weissman, who I uh, interviewed on a podcast I had years ago, um, said he came in, but they hung him upside down and gave him very little lines. He says something like, I threw out my back on the golf course. And uh, that's about all you see of him. And he pops up again later in the in the in the movie from the uh, front door. So there you go. The once in future car, and there is my. Uh, you're so uh, you're so big. There you go. Oh, and I dent up the corners. Wonderful. So yeah, I think there's what twelve. Sorry, yeah, ten cards in a pack. One of them being a sticker and only 88 cards in the set so should be able to make a couple sets my goal was to uh make at least one set for myself put the rest of them up on ebay so if anybody's interested in some back to the future cards you can check out the link in my bio check out my youtube page you'll find uh the back to the future cards on there and you'll find about seven thousand other cards up there for sale and I've got pretty, uh, I would say, very reasonable prices on these cards. I just like to collect and open packs and um, sell some cards and pay for stuff that I really want to keep down the road. So, what could be wrong? Michael J. Fox is Marty McFly. There's the hoverboard Marty. And here's Doc about to run into other Doc. Oh, Mr. Strickland, about ready to take Marty out. The Western Union guy, Marty and Marty. There's another Tesla. Jaws 19. They did guess a lot of things correct about Back to the Future, like um, kids coming home and getting on multiple screens. That's definitely happened. Um, you got basically the uh, very first iteration of like FaceTime in this movie. And 
it's just uh, kind of wild that they took some swings and uh, it really hit. I mean, they can get everything right, but we don't have flying cars yet. There's the gum. No thank you on the gum. We got trapped in the past. No, not again. Doc has his hands full. They, of course, had to recast Jennifer in the sequel as well. And because of the way the first movie ended, they had to take her with to the future. And basically, they... <laughs> tranquilize her and knock her out for the majority of the movie. So I don't think Elizabeth Shue realized she was going to have such a tiny role in Back to the Future 2, but that's what they ended up doing with that role. Any fans out there Back to the Future? And if so, how do you rank the movies? For the longest time, I used to love the third movie because it was one of the few movies that we had on VHS. But... Over time, I've really come to like uh, part two more than part three. And I uh, feel like part two is kind of revolutionary the way they shot it. Um, a lot of the cool scenes with Marty with multiple characters, none of it's CGI. So yeah, cool stuff. But yeah, let me know in the comments, what do you guys think? How do you rank them? Is it just one, two, three, or is it a different order for you guys? I know some people actually like the sequel part two more than they like the original. And there's nothing wrong with being wrong. Yep. And my daughter's up now, so I'm probably gonna cut this thing a little bit short. Um, I think you guys have gotten the gist of it here. It's pretty much the same cards over and over at this point. With the amount that we've already opened. Go Marty, go. Trippers collide. So we'll finish up these last couple packs. I'll open the rest with the kids. And we'll call it a day on this box break. Ooh, that was close. There's Marty at age 47. Saved by Doc again, the new plan, what could be wrong? There's Marty in the hoverboard again. Hill Valley Man wins the races. There's the makeshift hoverboard. Henchmen. Jaws 19, we've seen all these. All right, two more packs, and we will call it a day for the Back to the Future cards. Oh, this one's the first. 15, times are changing. There's Marty burning the almanac. Quiet, Ashley. All right, guys, this will be it. I want to thank you guys for watching uh, this box break. Some fun Back to the Future cards here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, I'm going to open the rest off camera. I think you got the gist of it, though. So, um, yeah, like I said at the beginning, if you're interested in buying any of these cards, they'll be up on my eBay page, probably pretty cheap. Let's go ahead and grab a couple copies. And uh, I'll be back with some more videos in the future, no pun intended. And thanks for watching. See you on the other side.